The Yosemite Rim Fire will go down as one of the largest in California's history. July's wildfire in Arizona claimed the lives of 19 hotshots. As people across the West recover from fires, researchers at the National Institute of Standards and Technology are developing the Wildland Urban Interface Hazard Scale with added urgency after a particularly devastating fire season. The energy is right near the ground where the fuel is. Similar to the Fujita scale for tornadoes and categories for hurricanes, wildfire exposure would be measured on its own scale of E1 to E4 to help predict how a large blaze will behave and to strengthen building codes. Researchers are not only studying flames and ground conditions, they're looking closely at embers blamed for more than half the homes lost to wildfires. So if you understand the exposure, you can then design to that exposure. Firefighters say having a hazard scale could help convince residents to evacuate, especially as more people move into wildfire prone areas. And what the capability of that fire would be to cause havoc or to cause destruction is going to be huge. The wildfire scale is still in the development phase, but it could help save lives and homes from a fiery fury. Peter Banda, Associated Press, Denver.